A new feature within OS X Lion is a hidden tool which allows you to diagnose problems with your Wi-Fi. You need to first make sure that your computer is connected to the wireless access point you wish to test. You then need to go to the menu bar and choose the Go command and select Go to Folder. Now in the Go to Folder inputting field you need to type a forward slash system forward slash library forward slash core services. When you click on the go button Finder automatically opens up the hidden core services folder. You now need to search in the core services folder for an application called Wi-Fi Diagnostics. When you load the Wi-Fi Diagnostics tool, you're presented with four options. Monitor performance, record events, capture raw frames, turn on debug logs. As we simply want to make sure that we're getting optimum performance from our wireless network, we're going to choose monitor performance. So we simply click continue. Now as you can see we have a sliding scale which goes from 0 down to minus 100 and within that we have two graphs, one for signal, the other for noise. The further away a line in the graph is from 0, the weaker the signal is. As you can see in my example, my wireless router is roughly in the minus 50 dBm range. You should be looking for your own wireless router to be somewhere in the minus 45 to minus 55 dBm range, as this signifies that you're getting a good, strong connection. The reason why dBm is on a minus scale is because it represents the loss of power of the radio wave as it travels. The reason why we have the noise line in the same graph is that noise is showing us the strength of other signals in the surrounding area. So again, using my example as a reference, I have very little interference from other signals on my wireless network. So armed with this basic information, we can use the Wi-Fi diagnostic tool to identify where there are problems with a wireless network. To demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is move away from my computer. Currently, I'm sitting directly in front of the laptop, with the wireless router directly behind me. Now you see when I move away from the computer, the signal strength quite dramatically improves. This is because the human body is made up of around 60% water, and radio waves have problems penetrating through liquids. But it's not just the human body that can prevent a good strong wireless signal from reaching your computer. Thick layers of concrete, metal piping, and also tinted glass windows can all contribute to a reduction of wireless signal. You can see that I'm sitting back at my desk again, because the signal strength has returned back to minus 50. Now if we were trying to diagnose a problem, we wouldn't just be looking at the signal strength. We would also be looking at what kind of interference we're getting from other devices in the vicinity. This is something called the signal to noise ratio. And looking at our graph, this is represented by the gap between the signal and noise. The bigger the gap, the better the connection. So in my example, where I have a signal to noise ratio of around 40, I actually have a very good wireless signal strength. To improve the signal to noise ratio, try switching off things like baby monitors, microwave ovens, televisions, cordless telephones and mobile phones. Finally, when you click continue, you get given the option to create a report that allows you to gather all of the diagnostic information that you've collected when you were running the program. You can then review the information, and if you're still having problems, pass on the information to an expert in wireless networking.